everyone welcome to the next session on ansys workbench tutorials in this session we are going to analyze a water tank we are going to apply hydrostatic pressure on water tank and we will try to calculate what is the effect of hydrostatic pressure on a water tank which is completely filled and half filled so we will be able to get the stress which is generated on a water tank because of hydrostatic pressure we know that hydrostatic pressure as the word suggests is the pressure which is applied on the inner surface of a water tank when it is filled with water the water is in static state the tank is filled half or full but this water also has a tendency to exert some pressure which can lead to the bursting of the tank hence you must have seen that the tanks are made of stronger materials also there are certain ribs like structure some extruded part on the tanks or some parts which are you know like ridges which are going in inwards the white color index tanks which you have at your home which have ridges in them so those kind of structures have been made for giving more strength and rigidity to the tank so we will start with static structural module i'll go to geometry i already have the model with me so i will import geometry of the water tank next i'll go to model and double click on it So this is the model of my water tank. Next, I'll go to geometry. For the surface of the water tank, I will leave the material to structural steel. If you want, you can add some other material as well. For example, polyethylene. It could be a plastic material which is used for making of the tanks. So currently, we will start with using structural steel as the material. Next, I'll go to mesh. I'll change the sizing to fine. and update next i'll go to static structural and i'll first insert fix support on all these surfaces that is the bottom of the tank is fixed next i am going to insert standard earth gravity that is the gravitational force which is exerted on the water inside the tank so i will change the direction because that is the direction of the tank currently you can check the alignment and you can accordingly give the direction there is no need to change the value over here so that's it next i will go to insert hydrostatic pressure which is applied on the internal surfaces of the tank because of the fluid inside now look carefully you need to select the entire tank surface so i'll select one by one So I've chosen all the surfaces. Apply. Next comes fluid density. Now I said initially that whatever fluid is filled inside, 
because you can change the fluid by changing its density. So suppose if I say the fluid is water, so I will have to insert the value of density as 1000 kg per meter cube. Now we are going to apply the hydrostatic acceleration. I will change vector to component and the direction is going to be the y direction and the value is 9.8 meter per second square. Now free surface location means what is the height of water or the level of water in the tank. So suppose if I have the level of water as the entire tank being filled, so I will apply this value as you want, you can change this units to mm and this is 1000 mm. You can see here this arrow has come up to this height which means the entire tank is filled now with water. Next I will go to solution and I will insert deformation total. I also want to see the stress and the strain. We can also insert deformation directional along the x-axis if you want to see your deformation. You can also insert the stress tool. Now I'll solve. So you can see here, this is the deformation over the body. The value is 0.00233. This is the maximum deformation on the body. The equivalent stress generated over the body is 1.24 megapascal, which is obviously very, very less. You can animate and check the result over the body. This is the equivalent strain generated over the body which is obviously very less. You can see the maximum value itself is 7.12 into 10 raised to minus 6, which means it is very, very less. This is the directional deformation along the x-axis. The value is 0.0011346. And we will check the safety factor. The factor of safety is 15, which means your body is highly safe. So this is with structural steel as the material, but if you want, you can change this material to a plastic material by going to new material. This will take you to engineering data sources, general material. You can figure out polyethylene from the list, bookmark it. Then go back to project, update project. You can do this at the start as well. I will change the material to polyethylene. I'll go to solution and solve once again. This is the total deformation using polyethylene as the material. The deformation is 0.29 mm. It is more compared to structural steel. The reason being steel is anyways more tough. Next you have the stress that is 1.017 megapascal. It is obviously less. Though more compared to steel but it is still very less a value. This is the elastic strain generated over the body. This is the directional deformation, 0.129 mm along the x-axis. Safety factor is again 15. Now, this is when you have your entire tank filled. Now, suppose if I have my tank half filled, Say this is 500 mm. I solve once again. So you can check the total deformation 0.12 mm for polyethylene. 
The strain generated is 0.43 megapascal. The elastic strain generated is 0.004139. Directional deformation along x axis is 0.082 mm. And safety factor still remains at 15. So, if you want to change the level of water in the tank and check it, that also can be done. Instead of 500, if you change this to say 250 mm and you solve it, again you get the results for 250 mm height of water. So, you can accordingly change these values. You can also change the density. So, suppose if it is not water, it is some kind of oil which is being stored in the tank. Accordingly, you can also change the density, know the density for that fluid and you can analyze. So, suppose this is 250 mm of fluid filled, this will be the total deformation. Elastic stress will be 0 0.183 megapascal. Strain is 0 0.00168. The directional deformation along x-axis will be 0 0.03058 mm. Safety factor still stands at 15. So, with this I end the session. I hope you have understood how to analyze a water tank for hydrostatic pressure exerted on it, whether the tank is completely filled, half filled or filled to any particular height. So, you can calculate hydrostatic pressure exerted on the various parts of the tank. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.